welcome back to my channel. So today, I did a thing. So, so I almost snorted. Um, so recently, I've done quite a few things. So I've purchased some new products. Um, I had posted a video of Simply Posh. I'd never heard of them. And then I also did a Salt New York purchase and that is my face. That video should be up. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and go watch that. But yeah, so today I have a, another new brand to me to use and I am excited to use them. So Leanne from Makeup Mug Wump her and I were like chatting back and forth, like messaging or whatever on Instagram. And she was like, hey, did you snag your new, the new Blend Bunny um, palette? And I was like, no, I was like, I've seen it. I haven't used, you know, and I, I was like, no, I haven't, you know, whatever. So it got me thinking, I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead and look at some videos. So I went ahead and watched some other videos and I was intrigued by the palette because I am definitely like a 90s <laughs> grungy kid like that was like my time like I grew up in the 90s and I was definitely like this grungy skater kid and I was like I you know I saw it and then I was like no I'm not gonna get it and then I was like okay I started looking further into it is my point and then I was like okay I'm gonna get it so I went ahead and I placed an order on Blend Bunny for the new sugar and grunge palette again there's the front here's the palette and i was like they look really pretty and like i like the color story and the fact that it gives you different shades different variations of colors so you have like the deeper darker colors and then they go up like a variation in that and then they go up another variation in that and then they give you you know shimmers down on the bottom but that's not the thing that's not the thing I did. The thing I did is that I watched quite a few videos. And so I was so intrigued by this brand that not only did I buy this palette, I bought the dollhouse, the, the lore palette. I bought the dollhouse palette. This is what got me the Trove palette. Have you guys seen these multi-chromes? It's all Annette's makeup corner. She's the one that did it like look at these and I was like you know what I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna get it I don't even know if they're gonna shift properly on here she did a little trick see there so you see how the gold see there's the purple and then next to it the gold look in the mirror you see how it's green and then you see down there in the mirror now the blue down here look in the mirror under the green it's purple so she did this neat trick and I was like, oh my gosh, like I had never thought about that before. So I was like, are they really that good? So I'm on Blend Bunny's thing. And again, I was like, oh, you know, I've never used them. I watched so many videos and everybody was like, oh my gosh, this, these are so good. Like I love these mattes. And you know, Annette kept going on and on about them. And she's like, I love this formula. And she does a ton with like color stuff, like colored mattes you know, vibrant colors, and she was like, I love this formula, blah, 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 you know, whatever. I believe I used her coupon code because I definitely needed it. So not only did I buy this little guy that I normally would not have purchased, but I was like, you know what? Why not? Treat yourself. And then they also had a brush, uh, a little brush collection. And it's really neat because they've color coded these brushes for you to go with the lightest color, the lightest color that you're going to use. And then as you go through the brushes, the deeper the color, the darker the color is to correlate with the shadow you're using. So the white brush you should use with your lighter colors the darker brush you should use for the darkest colors and I was like oh my gosh that is such a neat idea like that is so cute I was like are these brushes good I have a thing for brushes like I love my brushes you guys should know this by now as much as you see me being like oh this is my brush um the thing is there aren't any flat like shadow brushes you guys know that I absolutely love like my flat brushes and there's not one of those 
in this collection here if you can see that I don't know so anyway that was like my thing was that I did this ridiculously large order on a company I've never used before which is not like me but here is the lure palette look at these colors like look at that look at those greens look at that mermaid lagoon and then the blues oh my gosh like these teal turquoises and then the blues over here like I guys I just if there's anything you understand about me and watching my stuff on this channel is that you guys know I'm a sucker for some blues and some greens and then I was like oh but why not and it's really weird like all the palettes are all different prices and I guess it just depends on the size of the palette or whatever so like one would be like I don't know just randomly like 41 and then this one would be like 43 like it just was odd but look at this this is the dollhouse this is a nice neutral palette but yet you have some nice pops of color in here but I was like it is just it's just your nice neutral palette and I was like I really honestly hope these are as good as everybody makes them out to be because if not I'm gonna be slightly upset because I did I said go big or go home and I purchased all of these <laughs> even this this one this one is what got me I just for the price of it but again I used the coupon code to get a price off or to get a percentage off but I just that was that was expensive so I'm really hoping that they are as good as they appear to be so anyway after this hella long introduction because I just I'm like oh my gosh um after this really long introduction I think I'm gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna use because this is the newest one so I think I'm gonna use the sugar and grunge and then I'm probably gonna dip into this little quad because the price of that little quad I'm gonna need to use the whole thing like literally every day like, even if I'm not going anywhere, I'm just going to get up and just, like, use this quad. Like, I'm going to be determined to use these four colors forever. But they look so pretty. It's so wild. Like, looking down, I don't I don't even know. But I was just, I don't know, so intrigued by Annette's little trick of putting, like, the mirror up to her face. And then you could see the shift. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I used to watch her all the time. And then I kind of just, like, fell off the wagon with it. And I don't know. Yeah, how you go through those spurts. Alright, so anyway, you do get a nice mirror. It's a nice size mirror. Oh, it's it is nice. No face distortion there. <laughs> anyway, let it go. I gotta let it go. So anyway, if you want to see what I do with this palette and this one, then just keep watching. So I think I'm gonna zoom into about hair. I don't know. It's not a science, it's not like I can see on my camera where it's like, oh, you you were this close last time. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, anyway, oh, I'm excited about this. I don't really know what I want to do, though. I really haven't the slightest clue. But I do know that I'm going to use these new brushes. They're really nice. I really like the handles on them. They're like, they're wood. They're nice and light, but yet they seem sturdy. So... I think I'm going to start with this first brush, the white one, because I'm going to go in with the lighter color. Let's see. Let's see what this sweetheart color is all about, just for a transition shade. Tap that off. So that was such a light shade. I mean, it's literally like close to my skin tone. Um, I realized that my concealer needed to be blended out, so I just went ahead and popped that over on both eyes just to get that out of the way. So I think what I'm going to do, ooh, what colors do I want to do? Do I want to do green? I feel like I do green all the time. I really do. This bubblegum color looks really pretty. So is that butterfly color. Ooh. I don't know. Let's do, let's just do a light situation here. So I'm going to go into Skater Girl. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty. I'm going to bring that in. I'm just gonna go old school like I typically do. 
how I normally do my makeup. That is a really pretty color and it's actually blending out really nice. So, so far I really appreciate that with the formula that it's a light color. I don't necessarily know that I would call that like a pastel, but it is a light color that you can put on and then blend it out and it's not like leaving the surface. It's not blending away. It's not looking patchy. So I am actually going to bring that down. I'm gonna go in with the next lighter brush. Do they have, oh, B, B4. So this was B5. Oh, what do I wanna do? I think I want to go in with Detention. It's like mid-tone purple. I'm gonna pick that up, tap that off. And I'm going to go right here in the crease. Is that going to blend? Bend it is. I'm going to go back in with that first brush, soften the edge between those two colors, like that, that is pretty, and then I think what I want to do, oh, I really want to go in, you know what, let's just, <laughs> I'm going to jump ahead, I want to go into Butterfly. And I am, I'm gonna pick that up on this Hide and Sleek brush from Beauty Bay. And let's see. So not much there, let me see, let me pick it up. Let me get it wet. I just wanna see if I can get any down using a brush. A lot of people seem to use like the glitter primer. All right, so now I'm gonna pick it up with my finger. Ooh, that is super soft and creamy. There's the shadow itself. Oh yeah, that's it. Look at that, oh my freaking goodness. Look how pretty that is, oh, oh my God. missing out oh, that is so pretty all right let's see let's see let's see now I'm gonna go in oh, what do I, do? I, I really oh I have so many choices there's so many things I want to do I want to go in with jawbreaker down here and again I like to try to pick it up on a brush first and I think I'm going to go right over top where I put that color just a bit though I'm gonna try to get it wet because I have a feeling it should layer but let's see let's see let's see So there it is with the brush. Let me, oh, you guys know. You guys know how I feel about sticking my finger in my inner corner. Just because my finger is not tiny. But. 
Look how dang pretty that is. Ooh, oh my goodness. All right. I feel like that looks like a mermaid tail. <laughs> I really do. I'm gonna get that, a little bit more of that, and I'm gonna get it wet. I'm gonna tap over that. I'm gonna pick up some more of that prior color. And tap over top. Oh, my contact. So you get a blend between those two. Pretty that is. All right, so let's see. Now I'm gonna go back in, and honestly, I'm gonna go based on the size because I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm gonna go in with well, I'll just go in with B3. It's a small, dense brush, almost like a pencil brush, and I think I want to go in with Teen Spirit here. It's like this deep green and I'm gonna put that out here just want to try a little bit from each like you know a deeper tone a mid tone the light the shimmers I'm gonna tip my head back so I can get up in this crease that is really nice like it does not look patchy not at all. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with that prior brush that I had the purple on, which at this point seems like I kind of covered up that purple, huh? But let's blend this edge. Man, for being such a dark color, that really is blending out. Like that edge is definitely softening. Softening? Is that a word? Softening. The edge is definitely blending out. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, but we need to blend these two colors. So I'm gonna pick up more of that butterfly color on a brush and let's see. Get a little bit of a blend. It did. Oh, look how pretty that is. So pretty oh my gosh where have I been where have I been I'm gonna pick up this Beauty Bay this is from the dark fantasy collection it's a really small dense brush and I'm gonna pick up bubble gum here on the end Let's see. Yeah, and I'm gonna try it dry to start Okay, that went on a little bit. That went on a little bit. It's very pretty. It's a very pale muted pink, but I'm gonna get it wet. Using my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray, if I didn't say it earlier, because I don't think it did. I'm a little discombobulated. I feel like everything's getting ready to die. Like, my viewfinder, I have switched the battery a couple times that have been filming today, but I'm like, why are you dying so quickly? My camera's plugged in, so it's doing good. I just gotta make sure it keeps recording. So I'm gonna bring that color in a bit and then down under here. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go in, I'm, I'm gonna go back in with detention, that purple that I had used in the crease. So I'm gonna go back in with the prior brush I used with that purple color, that detention color, and I'm going to take that underneath. Like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flat definer brush, this is just a Morphe one, and I'm going to dip into this moody color. It's a really deep plum color. And I'm going to stamp that along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with that purple. 
the, I didn't pick up any more product, but that lighter purple, the brush I used, and I'm going to soften the underneath like that. That is so pretty. That is so stinking pretty. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to leave that eye like that for now. Let's hop over and do something with this other eye. So let's get, let's get grungy. Let's do it. What do I want to do? Let me go in with, so I use these brushes. I don't know. I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to go back in with that first brush. I'm going to pick up complicated. I'm gonna put that in my transition shade. It's a nice, it's a nice like chocolatey brown. It's blending out very nice. Like I'm not having any issues with that. That went on really well. This, the dang hair. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. I'm going to go underneath. I don't want to forget about these, these multi-chromes. And then I'm going to take, I want a tapered brush. So I'm going to take this Morphe tapered brush and I'm going to go into 1995, which is like, a mid-tone in this palette between the two other greens a mid-tone like deep olivey green olive-ish olivey I don't know and I am going to place that in here kind of going into the crease and then patting a bit out so I'm just trying to stay, like, I'm not on the very outer edge. I'm just in a smidge from that. I'm just kind of packing this on the lid. And then going in circular motions or like a little bit of a windshield wiper. Again, when I put this taper brush in, I apply the pressure up to blend that out a bit. I'm gonna just use the tip ever so I'm being very light I'm not being aggressive although my contact might think I am uh it's stupid contact so I'm gonna leave it like that just to deepen that and then what I want to do is I'm gonna go in with garage band which is a very dark green I'm gonna go in with this B2 brush. Tap that off. And that I'm going to use out here. Okay. Now it's being <laughs> very cautious with that. These are called blending brushes, but like I don't feel like I could blend with that. So I'm gonna go back in with that prior brush and soften this color out here. So again, I'm putting that tip in and blending a bit. I'm gonna go back in with that 1995 color. Cause I do feel like a little bit of that got lost with that darker green. Like that. And guys, there's no, um, like there's this grungy color in here. And it looks like a Mixed between like a blue and like a green. Yeah, see that? 
that's not really what I'm wanting for this eye because it's really deep and dark and grungy. But I also want to use this multi-chrome. So when I look at this color cove, see it's like gold, but watch in the mirror, see how it like shifts to green. So like look up here above, look up here in this corner. So you can see, see how it's green. So I want to go in with that color because why not? So I'm gonna pick that up on this Morphe M124 brush. Let's see what she's got. Ooh, 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 goodness. Okay, so they're, they're super soft. Don't go in heavy handed. I went in old ham hand. So I've got it, I don't have anything on it. No, nothing, no spray, nothing yet. So I'm just gonna take that. And I'm going to apply that on the lid. Do you see how pretty that is? That actually applied really nice. So far with just using the brush so that is nice but let me go ahead and I'm gonna pick some of that up and again be careful because that is a very soft shadow I'm gonna get it wet so let's see what this baby does Wow, look how intense that is. Oh my goodness. And I'm going over top that outer corner. Like out in here. And then I'm going to pick up that prior brush and pick up that garage band, that deeper color. And just ever so light, deepen up this outer corner, especially where they meet up. Look at that. I hope the shift picks up. Is that doing anything? I don't know. I don't know if that's picking anything up. Like if you could see the shift in the mirror. That is such a pretty color. Like it looks super green on my eye. It looks super green looking down at it as well. That is so pretty. I feel like I really just like that multi-chrome enough. But I think just, you know, sake of seeing some other colors in here, I swatched a few things. And I wish I had something like a little more gold or green. But this is what I'm coming up with. So I think I'm going to go in with this lighter shade down here. So that is called Prom Queen. It's like a champagne-y peachish color. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M124 brush and I'm going to put this color on the inner corner. Tap that over top. Actually went pretty well. I'm gonna pick that color up and get it wet. I don't know, I feel like I have such, such a thing for doing like greens, but then I also like like a goldish color with it. Like whether I'm doing gold or champagne, something with like that goldy tone to it. I just, I don't know. That's what I gravitate towards. You could do whatever you want, honestly. That kind of changed it. Look how nice they blended together. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to go in with the B4 brush. And I want to pick up that 1995 color. And honestly, I have so many brushes in front of me <laughs> that I don't even remember which one I used this, what brush I used at the moment. When I go back and edit, I'll be like, oh, that's what I used. But... I can't remember, so I'm gonna pick, I cleaned it off. So I'm gonna pick up this 1995 on this B2. I'm gonna come up a little bit, and then I'm going to blend this 
all the way from inner corner to outer. I'm gonna tap up here in that outer part. I don't know, that brush is not very soft. Oh, I used this one, so I'm gonna go in with this one. That's right, that Morphe tapered brush. Cause I put it in the crease, but I feel like it got some taken away from it. I'm blend out like that. Definitely blown out, smoky, like grungy eye, exactly what I was wanting. Now I'm gonna go in with another flat definer brush. This is the Luxie 221 brush. And I'm going to pick up Runaway, which is this very deep brown. You guys remember that song? Oh, that song was so sad. Um, that song by uh, Runaway Train. Was that by Soul Asylum? Oh, it was such a good song, but like it was so sad. And you gotta think like, gosh, how old was I? Eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I don't know. I'd feel some kind of way if my kid was listening to that. Cause they have an eight-year-old. I don't know. I'm actually gonna bring that up on that upper lash just a bit to deepen this corner. I feel like that corner got a little lost. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna do some liner, some mascara, apply some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. You've got this green eye, and then we've got like this mermaid colored eye going on over here. So I hope everything is picking up on the camera. Because obviously I can't see what it's doing because my eyes are closed. So I don't know if that messes some of you guys up. So <laughs> this would be the look here, green eye, nude lip. And then have this look over here. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Not that that was very far. Oh, don't mind my back. Like I have no motivation to organize or do anything back here. So just pay no mind to that. Okay. Um, I went ahead and I put on a pair of lashes from the ColourPop It's Faux eyelash collection. And then um, I've been trying out some new liner. So I purchased this. I don't know whether this is like super old or it just doesn't, didn't seal properly. I'm not really sure, but it was like really dry and I had a really hard time applying it over these shimmers. So not a fan of that. I went ahead and used this Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. It's just a liquid, liquid liner. So I went ahead and did my wing with that. That went on nicely. Um, and then in the waterline of this eye, I used my NYX Professional Makeup Faux White Liner in Linen. It's a very pale pink, so I really like that. I think it kind of pulled that eye look together. And then on this eye, I was going to go dark, and then I was like, no, you know what? Let me go ahead and just open it up a little bit. So I went ahead and used my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Boundless Bisque. Just again to open it up a bit and then for my lip combo I went ahead and used this Steve Laurent I got this in a boxy charm box I'm sure one of my subscription boxes at one time this is in the color chick or chic not really sure and then I used my Natasha Denona lipstick in I need a nude this is the 32 NP Susana so I really like it. It's a nice neutral, I don't know, it's almost like a chocolatey neutral lip, if you will. Um, let's talk about this palette. Let's talk about it. It's so funny. I used to have a watch that had a watch fan like this color, but it definitely wasn't in the 90s. Like this is like that grandma rose like wallpaper. But that was in like the 2000s when I got that watch band. And where did I get it from? Charming Charlie's. Are they even still around? Do they still have a Charming Charlie's? It was like a huge like jewelry, jewelry store and everything was like at that time fairly affordable. Like you'd go in and get like 
watch bands and or watches and all kinds of like necklaces earrings and all of that for like five ten dollars i'm not even sure but do i 100 percent get the 90s from these colors i'm not really sure because in the 90s i feel like yeah grungy but i don't remember like turquoises but maybe that's just my you know oh! knocking stuff over sorry I don't remember like colors like this being prominent in the 90s but it says sugar and grunge so I don't know if that's where that comes in and then maybe these are more of like the 90s colors grungy so I'm not really gonna get into like the name of it and what it is the palette and the colors everything performed so nice and look like even this amount of time that I've had these colors on there's not a lot of transfer like up at the top. There's literally like none over here. There's no transfer up into here in my upper crease, which is huge for me because I do have hooded eyes. So I really appreciate that. Um, there's a little bit up in here, but again, it's nothing too crazy for me. I really appreciate it. I like how everything went on. This, this was beautiful. This is beautiful and I do not recommend you guys to like, I'm not like, oh, go buy this, you need it. Absolutely not. This was me treating myself. I've been going through a moment and I was like, you know what? I treated myself to this and the brushes. I was like, you know what? I usually stick to just like the eyeshadow palettes, but I did it. I did it and I don't have a regret, but I'm not telling you guys that you need to go buy that. So it is very nice. It is very nice. Like that color went on really well. Um, it's hard to see the shift like when I'm closing my eyes, so I'm not really sure. I don't know. I keep thinking about that Beauty Bay palette, my green one. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, the dogs like bump the door open and they're being so obnoxious because they literally think that it's time to eat and it's not time to eat yet. I have to tell them it's not time. Like they love to eat. But anyway, I keep thinking about this palette like as far as like this multi-chrome color here again looking at it in my mirror i'm seeing more of like that green and i feel like you get a combination of that green from another palette so again i'm not recommending that you guys like rush out and go get this i do want to play with it more like again it's so hard because it's supposed it's like a multi-chrome and i can see the shift like when i move the palette here i'm just not sure that like you guys can see it because I can't like close one eye and like move my eye to see it so I don't really want to keep commenting on it but as far as this eye look I feel like you know I already have this I could do that eye look with that if you've never tried this brand if you don't have any colors like that in here again I couldn't even create this eye with just this palette like I feel like this palette like if we were going to go down here like kind of follow suit like they did these colors here and then there's this one so maybe put this one over here keep your purples here put this one down here move this teal over here maybe take this prom queen put it underneath over here and then I feel like you know this one and this one yeah it's nice to have a lighter one but maybe they should have taken like I don't feel like this grungy green is necessarily what I would want to see at the bottom of these greens like if I'm being very uh nitpicky about it I like the palette I like how all the shadows performed it's just the way it's set up like everything here is set up really nice and then they threw these shimmers in kind of wonky like I feel like they should have followed suit with the way they lined everything up that way people coming in that don't typically use colors like this might have been like oh okay let me go ahead and do that or, or what have you again this color here this grungy like color to me I do get like a green but to me I get more of like this type of green not like your olivey army grungy deeper toned greens does that make sense am I making sense I feel like I'm rambling but I know what I'm trying to say I just feel like they they kind of threw things off with this a little bit like you could even put that down more here with like the grays but again i would have probably liked to have seen like something silver-esque so to speak as far as like the way they put up this color story but how everything performed everything performed really nice really really nice like truly truly i think they did so if you were thinking of looking into this brand 
I hope this video helped you decide whether you're going to, whether you're not. I don't know if you have this palette and you're like, oh my gosh, I love it, let me know. If you have this palette and you're like, ah, you know, whatever, like, let me know that too. Again, I love talking to you guys. I love the comments. You know, I like interacting. Um, I honestly can't wait to use those other two palettes to get in to see if it is typical of this brand to have such nice matte that everything blended nice nothing looks patchy the colors are staying where they are supposed to so i'm really excited to see what those other palettes bring about um so yeah if you don't have colors like this and you're like hey i'm looking for a company that i you know want to try to get into these colors seem to be very forgiving very easy to work with um, they blended nicely. I put them on like everything just worked so nice So if you were wanting to dabble in colors like this and you never had I think this would be a nice beginner palette I honestly do because again you get the lighter the mid and the deeper tones and then you have some shimmers to play with So I don't want my critique of how the palette was set up or the color story to dissuade you from looking into this because everything worked so nice like everything really did like truly and honestly like when I put that color on with my finger and even putting that one on with just the brush, oh my gosh, like they're so pretty. They're so pretty. So, okay, I'm done rambling. This has been a very long day of filming and doing things. So I'm like, bleh, 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 bleh. so <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like anyway. So anyhow, I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate you watching. So as always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this.